Hello, welcome to Ascending DC channel. We are an AWS certified partner to provide cloud consulting and technical support to clients who are looking for cloud solutions to tackle the challenge in their day-to-day -day operations. This video is one of the many short videos we are producing. In each of them, we are going to demo and explain when used for AWS practice that can be used to improve the efficiency and accuracy of your work. All these tricks have been proved effective in our client's success. If you are a project manager, DevOps, architect, software engineer, or just looking for useful cloud practice, this video is made for you. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Welcome back. I'm Bias, and I'm a senior DevOps engineer here at Ascending. Today in the video, we are going to continue where we left off in the last video, where we deployed an EKS cluster using Terraform. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend going through it before we watch this one. OK, uh, once we have the cluster up and running from Terraform template, if you haven't done that yet, please watch the video in the description below. The next thing is to deploy applications. In this video, we are going to deploy Nginx server and see it running. So how do we do that? Well, there are two main ways of going about it. Kubernetes provides kubectl for controlling the control plane of our EKS cluster. We can use kubectl to deploy an application using the command kubectl apply example deployment.yaml. The yaml file is where we describe the app that we are going to deploy. We can also use Helm package manager for deployments. In this tutorial, we are going to use Helm for deployments. Let's first take a look at the YAML file to describe what we, and how we want to deploy an image. Now, there are a few keywords that we need to go over. Uh, first, we have replicas. It defines the number of instances of this application that we are going to run at any given time. Selector. Kubernetes control plane uses selector as a way to identify applications. Containers. This is where we define what an image we are trying to deploy. Now, the previous YAML looked fairly simple, but keep in mind that most real life examples, there are multiple application deployments. The most basic three tier application requires front end, back end, and a database. For deploying any persistent storage, we need to deploy the application, for example, MySQL as a stateful state with a persistent volume. For storing key pair values, we need to maintain config maps. To maintain secrets, we need to make sure to use secrets. This can quickly become hard to manage across teams. Developers should not have to deal with low-level Kubernetes logic for maintaining and scaling deployments of their application. What we really need is more high-level approach where we can simply describe what we want to deploy without having to maintain the underlying Kubernetes deployment files. This is where Helm comes in. Helm is a package manager for Kubernetes. As we discussed last time, the concept of providers in Terraform, in Terraform, we can select Helm as a provider and we can make use of Helm repository and add Nginx chart for deployment. On the right is the example of how Nginx deployment using Terraform and Helm would look like. In our demo, the application has been deployed using Terraform apply. And then we use kubectl get pods. And then after that, we will go through the Helm chart definition for more explanation on how we are doing it. Now we will run Terraform init followed by Terraform apply to deploy the Nginx application to our EKS cluster from our last demo. It takes around five minutes for me to deploy it. To save time, I've already deployed it as you can see. We will use kubectl get pods command to see that the Nginx application has been successfully deployed. As you can see, we have three replicas of Nginx running here. Great. Now we are going to view the Helm chart definition. We have repository. This is the base URL where all the charts details are stored. We have chart, the name of the chart that we need to pull from the repository. Set. All the parameters passed to the chart are defined using this keyword. We are going to the repository URL to see all the variables we can set for Nginx.
this is the nginx chart url we have all these parameters that we can use we have some nginx specific parameters and we have nginx deployment parameters as you can see we have the replica count that we are using in our project and we can the default value is one and we are using three in our case ascending is aws advanced tier certified partner we have a team of engineers to work with you and create a solution that solves your unique problems managing and scaling infrastructure can be a lot of for a team that needs to focus on developing applications ascending can help take that problem away from you so your team can focus on what's important hope this video helps you understand how we can use terraform and helm to deploy applications to kubernetes clusters stay tuned for our next devops videos please leave your comments questions critics to us so we know you are watching again please like share and subscribe to our channel ascending dc and stay tuned for our next video see you next week